Myth number one, 47 million Americans do not have health insurance. Well, this is a figure from the U.S. Census Bureau. I assume it's correct or almost correct. But what people don't realize in this country is the Census Bureau counts anyone without health insurance who is without health insurance at any part of the previous year. Most people in this country, about 80%, get their health insurance through their employer. So if you lose your job or you leave your job, you know, you may be without health insurance for a short period of time until you get individual insurance or you to move to another job. So that's an important aspect. But the other thing is 17 million of the 47 million people have incomes greater than $50,000 a year. 10 million have incomes greater than $75,000 a year, but choose not to purchase health insurance. 14 million of them are people who are eligible for Medicaid or the state children's health insurance program and have not signed up. There are roughly 8 million people who are chronically uninsured in this country for two years or more, and we want to make some changes so that they can get health insurance. Another um, a fabrication that is out there, a myth, is this so-called hidden tax. Arnold Schwarzenegger talked about it. A lot of politicians are talking about it. The hidden tax is that those of us who have health insurance are paying a huge premium in order to cover people who don't have health insurance. Well, PRI, Dan Kessler, and John Cogan at Stanford and Hoover have debunked this uh, statement. Do you know that the uninsured only add 1% to the cost of our insurance. But who are the culprits that are adding 10% to the cost of our premiums? Medicaid and Medicare. The low reimbursement rates from the federal government programs are what are adding tremendous cost onto the system.